Can I deposit a check with Chime? Let's find out. Yo, what's up, everyone? So, you've got a check in your hand, and you're wondering if you can just waltz into your Chime app and deposit it like magic. Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Chime and check deposits. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably juggling a million things right now. Work, family, maybe even a side hustle. And dealing with checks? It's like a throwback to a different era. But fear not, because we're about to simplify this whole process. So, can you deposit a check with Chime? The short answer is, usually yes. But let's break down the details. Chime offers a feature called Mobile Check Deposit. It's pretty much what it sounds like you snap a picture of your check and the money magically appears in your account. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's actually not. But before we get too excited, there are a few things you need to know. First off, not everyone is eligible for mobile check deposit. Chime has its own set of rules about who can and can't use this feature. It usually depends on things like how long you've been a Chime member, if you've set up direct deposit, and your overall account activity. So, how do you know if you're eligible? Well, the easiest way is to open up your Chime app and look around. If you see an option to deposit a check, congrats. You're in the club. But if you don't see it, don't panic. There might be other ways to deposit your check, where you might need to wait a little while to become eligible. Now, let's say you're one of the lucky ones who can deposit checks with Chime. How does it actually work? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. You'll need to endorse the back of your check, just like you would if you were depositing it at a traditional bank. Then, you open up your Chime app, find the mobile check deposit option, and follow the prompts. You'll typically need to take a picture of the front and back of the check. Once you've done that, the check will usually take a few days to clear. But don't worry, Chime will give you an estimate of when the funds will be available. And while you're waiting, you can actually spend the money, but it's important to remember that the funds aren't officially yours until the check clears. So, what happens if you try to deposit a check that's over the limit? Or if you try to deposit too many checks in a month? Well, Chime has limits in place to prevent fraud. If you try to deposit too much money too quickly, your account could be flagged for review. So, it's important to be aware of these limits and to follow Chime's guidelines. Now, let's talk about some common questions people have about depositing checks with Chime. First, what if the check is made out to multiple people? Well, unfortunately, you can't deposit a check with multiple payees using mobile check deposit. You'll need to endorse the check and have the other payee sign it as well. Another common question is about check holds. Sometimes, banks will put a hold on a check, meaning you can't access the funds right away. Chime is no different. There are certain types of checks that are more likely to be put on hold, like checks from businesses or government agencies. So, is depositing a check with Chime worth it? Well, that depends on your individual situation. If you get a lot of checks and you hate going to the bank, then mobile check deposit can be a real time saver. Plus, it's convenient to be able to deposit checks from anywhere, as long as you have your phone. But on the other hand, there are some drawbacks. You might not be eligible for mobile check deposit right away, and there are limits on how much you can deposit. Plus, there's always the risk of check fraud, although Chime does have measures in place to protect you. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to use Chime for check deposits is up to you. But now that you know the basics, you can make an informed decision about whether or not it's the right option for you. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.